Hello everybody and yeah, welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Let's talk about hydrogen and diabetes today, guys. I get a lot of emails from a lot of different people sharing their stories with me, but there's one set of emails that I get above all, and that's actually in regards to diabetes. I get a lot of people sharing with me what they're experiencing in regards to hydrogen. But the most interesting one actually comes from a lady who, I'm gonna actually start off by reading her email, and then I'll explain to you a little bit more of what happened with her. So this is what she wrote. She wrote, I have been using my machine for six months now and I would like to share my results. I am a type one diabetic for 30 years now, insulin dependent, due to the removal of 90% of my pancreas. Okay, so I drink about one liter to two liters of hydrogen water a day and inhale for about one hour a day. And I am currently living insulin free. Guys, I don't know if you just heard me. She's living insulin free. This is crazy because she was completely dependent upon her insulin. Let me keep reading the email. Her, or she says, my hydrogen machine is my insulin. I have photos where I have tracked my glucose escalating due to food or drink, where I have escalated to like a 193 on my glucometer when my starting number was a 108. And the holy hydrogen machine brought my glucose down to a 105 after five cups of water, they were around eight ounces each. Um, and after also using an hour and a half of inhalation of the hydrogen. I would love to send you the photos and I can also send you some medical records that show that I am a type one diabetic. I love my holy hydrogen machine and I have evidence that it works. So what I did here, actually, let me show you the pictures that she actually did send here and I'm gonna put them in order because what she showed here, you can see the number of the first ones when she started out at 108, second one went, looks like a 182 and then it went to a 193. She used the hydrogen obviously and it went down to a 126 and then it went all the way down to a 105. So this is the information that she sent. Now, of course I reached out to her. I wanted to talk to her and find out more of the details of what was going on with her in regards to hydrogen. And that's when I found out that she had told me that she had tried the hydrogen pills, which as you guys probably already know, I don't recommend because I don't believe that they're actually even good for you. You know, you gotta use them for the long term, which means that they start getting really expensive. In fact, it's one of the most expensive ways of probably consuming hydrogen. And it's just the, the residue from the chemical reaction that can have some possible negative results. In fact, there's been some people who have been doing some blood work before and after hydrogen pills, and they've actually been messaging me, telling me that their liver numbers are not looking very good after about six or eight months of usage. So not the way I recommend, but she tried them. And she also tried the pre-canned hydrogen water, which is just super silly to me because the hydrogen's gonna leave and you're not gonna be getting those real good therapeutic levels of hydrogen. And what she shared with me was that her results were just like super minimal. She was almost getting no results, but she was getting something super tiny. She wasn't even knowing if it was the hydrogen or not. So then she really wanted to look for something that really makes good therapeutic clean hydrogen. And she ended up finding the same exact machine that I use and of course, she found my videos. And so she went ahead and got, it's called a Lourdes Hydro Fix. That's the machine that I use. And that's the one that she started to use. And lo and behold, she started getting really great results. She almost couldn't believe it, which is why she waited six months in order to see if this was really accurate and what was really happening. And then she got really excited I'm really, really glad that she reached out. Apparently somebody actually told her that she should reach out and then she just got more excited and was like, you know, I really, really wanna share this information with people. I actually mentioned to her, I'm like, you know, maybe you should put out a video, but again, you know, she doesn't have a channel and she just doesn't do videos. So I put it upon myself. I really wanted to share this information with you guys because it's really quite exciting. I mean, to get off of something like insulin, guys, is really great. You have to understand how expensive it can be. I mean, you can spend three to $500 a month on insulin. And then not to mention you have to stick a needle, you know, injecting yourself all the time. Maybe for some people that might be embarrassing. Um, you run the risk of infection. You can get like uh, little lumps in the area where you constantly have to keep injecting yourself with those needles. And it's just something that I've even heard that they can possibly cause some brain damage from using insulin. 
So you gotta be really cautious with this stuff. And I just think, it sounds to me like hydrogen is just a better avenue. And not only that, but it ends up being even more cost effective. So in this period of time, it's already saved her more money than what the machine originally cost her. And then you're not really dependent upon anybody. You know, you can make all the therapeutic grade clean hydrogen that you want. So it was just something that was really, really great. And she also now gets to obviously inhale the hydrogen. She said she's gonna be doing some more experimentation. In fact, when I talked to her, I shared with her my protocol because I've created what I would call a hydrogen protocol that I believe is really the best way to go. I shared this with her and within one day, the very next day she contacted me and she was letting me know that she had already seen a 25% improvement. <laughs> so if you guys really wanna see what my hydrogen protocol is, you know, I don't know, like the video, uh, make a com comment below and I'll make another video, <clears throat> excuse me, explaining my hydrogen protocol that I believe will give you like the ultimate results. So again, I just wanted to share this information with you guys because it's really important to know how to make the hydrogen. I'm really glad she actually found my videos. She was sharing with me how grateful she was for that. And I was really glad to be honest that she did that because I've even thought about shutting down my channel many times. And you know, I don't get all the views in the world or anything like that, but just hearing from certain people, the results that they're getting, it really touches me. It makes me feel good that people are getting results that they're super excited about it that it's improving their health and so you know that that's why I keep doing it and just to share information about how to make hydrogen it's probably one of the one of the number one questions that I get as far as how to make hydrogen people ask me about these little bottles all the time and if they could use something like this for making hydrogen definitely not what I recommend guys there's a lot of problems with this particular design one it, it really directly electrolyzes your water and if you understand science when you're directly electrolyzing the water of course you're most likely going to be getting like these metals leaching into your water and wow okay it's, it's even leaving a residue on my finger this is not a high quality machine and I, I just don't think it's a good idea to be electrolyzing the water directly and plus these little machines aren't like heavy duty so to make the amount of hydrogen water or even inhalation that you need to make in order to really get those therapeutic results I just don't think this is going to cut it plus I've also seen where they do um, they put like a little apparatus on the top like a little attachment to breathe in the hydrogen gas guys you do not want to be breathing in directly electrolyzed water it's actually toxic for you it's not good for you so it's crazy that they even sell these type of things but definitely not what i would recommend especially if you want clean therapeutic grade hydrogen and you have to understand that hydrogen if there is a catch the catch is it's going to be something that you use long term you're not going to take a couple pills and get amazing results you're not going to use these little bottles for a little while and get amazing results it's just not going to work that way so if you're going to be using something for an extended period of time it's really important that you make it safely and cleanly and that you're making therapeutic grade hydrogen so you really get those really good effects from it or at least give you the best odds or chances to improving your health so and if you guys want to learn more about that i got other videos where i show what i use and how i make my hydrogen so I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. I really hope that her story inspired and helped all you guys. It was really inspirational and great for me. It really made me feel good that somebody found my videos and that she got the kind of results that she was getting. She was even sharing with me. She's like, you know, not only has it saved me money on insulin, but that's not even the biggest thing. She's like, I know this thing is gonna help me with my health and that's probably gonna lower my healthcare costs also. And then of course, all the pain and suffering of having medical problems. So she was super, you know, grateful for the videos as I was to receive her emails because I love to get you guys guys' emails and share information. So I really hope again that you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Give me that feedback by giving me that thumbs up that you guys liked the video, appreciated the information, and her sharing the information. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification button if you want to get a notification for when I put out the video about my hydrogen protocol and what I personally recommend. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on the next video.